<laughs> I need to bring him down a notch. <laughs> put this, you put this black fucker in his place. <laughs> I need to put this n word in his place. <laughs> I, 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 That's the best description. Because I, I don't. I, I, for me, I don't. We'll get. We'll get into it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. <clears throat> Is this any way to start a show? I'm so fresh. Today I was just sitting around, <laughs> chilling, enjoying a wine cooler. A fucking Zima. A spritzer. A St. Ives, as it were. <laughs> no, motherfucker, I'm old school like Bartles and James. <laughs> you remember Bartles and James? Oh, no, Seagram's. Bruce Willis used to be the spokesperson for Seagram's. I remember, yeah. Then they found out. You he are was, old. Then he found out he was an alcoholic and had to drop it. <laughs> I mean, that's like hostess dropping you for being fat. <laughs> Sp- speaking of speaking, hey, speaking of age, speaking of age limits, I got to rehash a conversation that you and I had. Let's get this shit going. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, if I could compile the pile of shit that people are, it would be me plus oh so fresh times your mother. That's right. Boys and girls, this is the best menage a trois of your week. It's me, him, and you. This is the Hype Podcast. I'm the host with no name. My name is also so fresh. I'm cooler than Seagram's Golden Wine Coolers. And I do have a drinking problem. That's why I'm not sponsored by any drinking brand. I put the host. This I I took the hostess out of her cupcake so I could be here today. <laughs> And if you want to share a drink with us, hit us up 503-776-0167. We'll have a cheers to you for the holiday season. Hey, hey. If you need a reason, baby, right here on the Hype Podcast, right. you can come kick it with us anytime as long as you donate to our Patreon. If you don't, I, I fuck need off. you to donate to Patreon because I'm just going to do a big video dump. Yeah. You, know, you, know, you know like when you go in there, you think you just got yeah. one log? You're you going to leak the OnlyFans? I, I was, <laughs> I, when, you go in there, when you go in there, you think you got one log and you drop five? You know when you just had your friend's house you thinking, thinking oh, I'm just gonna get this out the way real quick <laughs> like no big deal and, and then, he's then got some Febreze you walk out that motherfucker so when I walk out of Patreon it'll be like napalm <laughs> Asian orange so wait for the big video dump I, I don't want to hear I don't want to hear it if my man here's got a piece I don't want to hear about it okay I have to hear enough about it from my own mother okay I don't, I don't even want to hear about it boop yeah <laughs> Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash the hype podcast. And I'm just going to say it. I'm going to say it. The holidays bring out the fucking worst in people. And yes, I'm smacking the goddamn table. I, you know, on this Facebook thing, I got to say, I interviewed somebody today okay. for a job. Okay. And they told me they had 10,000 TikTok followers. I don't know what they, <laughs> what, how, what, what relevance that had to the motherfucking job. Did you hire them on the spot? Just mine. I don't know. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> I was like, you know, it's about the company. And that's more of an individual thing. <laughs> I, I, I was like, 10,000 followers. I mean, in a way, I was kind of mad. I was kind of like, well, damn. <laughs> I can't get five people to listen to my fucking show. Yeah. You should have been. No, that should have been one of your interview questions. Like, are you familiar with the Legendary Hype podcast? And if he's like, no, what's that? You'd be like, thank you for your time today. Uh, no, it, 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 as, part, as part of the, uh, the onboarding process, yeah. You, yeah. you must subscribe to the Hype podcast. And listen to every episode. If, we are going to check in on you once a week until your you training is complete. If you're not subscribed to the Hype podcast within 90 days, you will not pass <laughs> your probationary period. Dude, that's a dope, that's a dope and, fucking and, way to get if, people. If, if you cannot quote anything about a handy <laughs> or poop, yeah, yeah. or poop, if you don't know what poop means, then, <laughs> then I think you're fucking fine. Yeah, then you gots to go. Yeah. I, I, you know, labor board, get at me. It's, uh, what is it? What's the number they can call? 503 776 So if you work for the labor board and you got a fucking problem with that, you call me. You talk to me. He's a reasonable guy. Sometimes. I, I, Sometimes. I, I, boop. So, <laughs> dude, no, no, no. Okay, I got to tell you this story. I, I hope you're sitting down. You, I, you there at home? I hope you're sitting down for this. This is hey, the- if if you don't subscribe to the to Patreon, then you're missing me. I am mooning the camera right now. <laughs> and I'm gonna be all doing all sorts of air karate chops and like visual language here. I'm gonna paint you a picture. You mean like karate? Karate. No, nothing in hand. Nothing in hand. Nothing in hand. Sleight of hand. Slight of fist. Uh, I, you don't do it as much. <laughs> wow, <Well>, pause. <laughs> are, you, are your hands still registered weapons? Are, yes, you, are they still registered with the police? Of co- no, not with the police. 
That wouldn't that wouldn't do me any justice. I you can't register him with the police. You got to register him with the mob. Boy, if you actually if you register your hands with the police, that does make you sound kind of pedialite. I guess I don't want to say the words. I don't want any problems on YouTube, but that makes you sound a real fucking pedialite right now, dude. So remember months and months ago. When I was in Idaho and I was a little too stoned to sit in the grocery line and then some old man tried to like start an altercation with me. He played one. He played knick knack on your thumb. Yeah. Wait. And you were like, you were like, check it out. You were of the age that you should not be getting in fights. Yeah. You, you, yeah. you, you, you passed that I, one. Yeah. And so, so I avoided that altercation to the best of my ability. Well, let me tell you, man, I went and hung out with some of my buddies. I only see them like once or twice a year and they're 40 years old. And these motherfuckers still run around like they are 21. <laughs> you, know, you know the problem with being 40 and still having that mentality is you have enough money to get into a lot of trouble. Which which we they made very apparent this weekend. So check this out. I'm going to give you the abbreviated version. Because yeah, your stories are fucking long. <laughs> we start out at his apartment downtown. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, here's the deal. I, I don't Portland. So if we're doing this, we're staying local within the, within the Pearl District what, what, area. What, what's you know? wrong with Portland besides the homelessness and the fentanyl? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and the burning buildings and smashed yeah. windows. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, yo, we're going to stay local. And he's like, yeah, 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 totally fine. I said, all right. And I have a place to stay. Like, no big deal. Oh, yeah, no big deal. I got a couch. Like, totally fine. Hold on, hold on. You're Caucasian. Did you Airbnb? No, no. Did you get, Airbnb? No, get you out of here. You seem like an Airbnb type guy, dude. I've only Airbnb'd once, and it was by mistake, and I didn't even pay for it. And so <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like getting somebody pregnant. <laughs> I, thought, I, I only got listen, somebody. I pregnant. thought it was I only just got a house party. pregnant once. <laughs> it was by mistake. I didn't, even, I didn't even pay for it. I thought I thought it was just a house party, but Herschel Walker might be in. <laughs> In the seat now, so uh, I don't know, but, but somebody <laughs> robbed the dry cleaners that night. Yeah. So check this out: like we start out, go to this local place, totally cool. It's packed, right? Like good times, good <laughs> times, good times. We're, we're going to be had by all. I, I don't like packed, but cool. So oh, same. So my buddy, who we'll call him Brandon, Brandon, just because Brandon. Shout out to Brandon. I, I, I read this uh, Brandon I beat up in elementary school. <laughs> Good old Brandon. So my buddy Brandon is hey, like, man, he had a nice S curl. He went fucking <laughs> my buddy Brandon is like, ladies, we're going to sit here so we can watch the blazer game with you. I'm going to buy you rounds of drinks until you think I'm cute. And they're like, Oh shit. All right. We'll see how long that takes. And so we're chopping it up, having a good time watching the fucking blazer game. Well, Brandon and my other buddy, they're putting down drinks like it's going out of style. Totally fine. So we got a table full of ladies. Got a table full of my buddies. Ugh. We're having a good time. Just chop it up. The Blazers win. It's a fucking great night. Who they beat? Jazz. The Utah oh, Jazz. Yeah. Well, they beat the Utah Jazz? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa. And so. Hey, hey I, 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 I kind of support local sports. <laughs> so we're hanging out. We're cracking jokes. Having a grand old time. Well, <laughs> right around, I don't know. Nine nine thirty. Yeah, they're like, "Oh, let's go to this different place." And I'm like, "Hey, hey, what's wrong with this place?" And they're like, "No, we'll just get an Uber. It's, it's, it's fine." <laughs> and I'm like, "No, no, we talked about this. Stay in local. Stay in local, baby." It's fucking nine thirty. Yeah, I mean, we're lit, and it's fucking yeah, nine thirty. Yeah, we we gotta go someplace. <laughs> no, we're lit no. at nine thirty. If I am lit at nine thirty, I need to go to another bar. <laughs> You're the worst. I have already used up all of my goodwill at this bar at 9.30 because different shit happens after 9.30. I'm sorry. You're talking to a bar professional. At 9.30, if I'm at one bar at 9.30 and I started there, at 9.30, I must proceed to leave. So, okay. Because I got right. to get, get two more bars, bars in before midnight. Oh, Jesus. Is that the fucking rule? That's why I get down. Dude, apparently. That's, that's why I start DJing, because motherfucker. <laughs> no, because I was I was an expensive fucking date. Apparently, <laughs> nobody nobody sent me this memo. So they're like, hey, we're going over to the alibi. And I'm like, he was yeah. too, he, he, I'm like, yo, that's not in downtown at all. Like, if you're not familiar with this area, imagine driving across town to get to another bar when you're already lit it's, about 9 30. Downtown to the alibi? That's not that far. It's like a 15 minute Uber. Everything's a 15 minute Uber. 
No, that's not. No, that's not true. I, well, I don't know what's a five minute ride. I mean, four blocks. That's five minutes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so sixteen would be no, hard. no. Okay, then it's if that's your logic, the alibi is way further than that because it's like five and a half miles away. That's way more than sixteen blocks. I mean, once you get going, it picks up speed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not saying you continue to travel at that pace. Okay, so but, so, get, but no, let's get this right: <laughs> getting in an Uber, going four blocks away from your house. And getting out will take you about 12 minutes. Now, if you happen to go miles, <laughs> that might, you know, the, it averages out a little bit. But getting into the Uber, that's two minutes all by its goddamn self. And you're already sloppy at 930. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> all right. All right. And you're lucky your Uber driver, your Uber driver might have just passed you guys up because you're like, dude, I'm not warmed up for the night. Yeah. Because Uber drivers <laughs> are like, at 1 a.m., I'm cool with this shit. At 930, you better, the bus is still running, bitch. Yeah, right. <laughs> Here, I'm about to give you a train. Transfer onto yeah. the number. Oh, I forgot what it was. Oh, the number 40. I used to ride the bus. <laughs> this is Jimmy Pedal's math for you, Jimmy right? Jimmy Pedals. So, anyway, we get over to the alibi. We have a couple drinks. We're chilling, hanging out. Well, they get a they get a round of ladies going. I love the alibi. Yeah. The alibi. So wow. my boys get a, hey. my, my no, check this out. It gets it gets good. Here's where it gets good. My buddies get around the ladies going. And they're just like, yeah, let's fucking go back downtown. And I'm like, Bitch, it's 11 o'clock. Like, we're already shit drunk. And they're like, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. We'll yeah, just go back downtown. 11, 11 o'clock is when you add people to the party. <laughs> like, I don't know. Where, did I not take you out enough? No, at 11 o'clock, I was DJing your whole going out career. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I neglected you, son. Because, no. Dad? If, if, if at 930, I'm lit and I go someplace else, and I meet some ladies at 11 Yes, we are going. We're all doing. No, call the Uber XXL. No, so here's and, the thing. And, and, and give me a, and have that motherfucker drop me off a pack of Magnums. It might be a long one. So, no. We might have to pull a double no, tip. here's the fucking thing. So, we call the Uber. Yeah. Or I didn't call it. My buddy calls the Uber, right? The not the not Brandon buddy. We haven't named him yet. Dramatic pause here. It's the buildup. So, we fucking call the Uber. He... I, he ushers me into the car. He ushers Brandon into the Uber. All of a sudden, boom, slams the door. He hops in the front seat and was like, sorry, ladies, Uber's full. And tells the guy to drive. And I'm like, whoa, what wow. are you doing? Wow. Like, what? Was it like in the movies where they go, follow that car? <laughs> <laughs> he jump in a cab and go, follow that car. <laughs> it was like that. And I start fucking dying laughing because that- I'm watching this transpire. And he literally sets like a fucking NBA pick on this bitch. <laughs> Shut the door in her face. I was like, damn it, Zach. What are you doing? You're <laughs> like, why would you just cock block our buddy Brandon here? What's going on? He's freshly what? divorced. He needs some fucking pussy. And Zach, Zach looks at us. I mean, Zach looks at us in the back seat and goes, yeah, man, but I'm trying to get like some premium pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and, and. I w- see. I, I'm on the other side of everything. So I will rule in his favor because 11:30, there is still premium pussy to be had. <laughs> I, 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 you you place you, you ever been you ever lived in life you just like place your bed too early? At I know, I know, but I've stayed in the casino too long where I crap out. You know, <laughs> I mean, because I done made a friend at 11 o'clock, and then by 11:45, something better walked by that looked at me like if you didn't have a friend, you'd have a better friend right now. I mean, I mean, I mean, why can't it be like car dealerships and I just get traded? Yeah, right. Just take hey, one for a test hey, drive. Hey, hey, you know when you take your used car to a car dealership, they always give you more credit than what it's worth. <laughs> if, if it was like that with bitches at a bar, life would be fucking good. Dude, so here's where I run into it. We get back downtown. And it's like 11, 15, 11, 30 at this point. <sighs> we get down there. Bitchless. We walk. <laughs> yeah, bitchless. <laughs> bitchless. <laughs> yeah. we, we, we walk into this bar. And there's this fucking cat. You can see him from a mile of the way. He's like 6'9", fucking 300 pounds, just giant human being, like Greg Oden style looking dude. And you're just like, Jesus Christ, man. He was what? like, yeah, I'm 6'9". Yeah, right? Hey, 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 hey. Tell, you, tell you, bitch. I'm yeah. 6'9". So, and I can dunk. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and you know what? You don't have to kneel down for me to boop. Yeah, so, no, but so... That's a convenience for a bitch. So I my, mean, if you, buddy, if, if, I mean, listen if, to the story. Uh, I just gotta say, if you're a woman out there, it is 
an ultimate fucking convenience. A bet as good as a, the dishwasher being fucking invented <laughs> that you can just stand straight up and you got a man tall enough to just go boop without even you kneeling down. There you go. We are winning. Hey, you can keep your dignity and get your boop all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the story, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Because I don't know what was said. The first bit, like my, my buddy's in front of me, like a couple paces up, one step to the left. I hear him say something to this dude. And the only part that I heard initially was like, damn, you're a huge motherfucker. And I'm like, and that, I'm like, I'm like, okay, you know, that's 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 a fifty fifty. That could be cool, right? Right? Yeah, that, like, that'd be cool. I mean, it depends on how right how big how how many drinks this big motherfuckers have. That might be all right. Yeah. And so this cat because like, he's heard that his whole life, right? So this cat's like initially cool, but within seconds, I hear this like, "Yo, you better fucking get your boy." Blah blah blah. And I hear my my buddy go, "Yo, don't fucking touch me, man." I'm like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa!" And I separate him. And so I look at this cat. I'm like, yo, so how about them trailblazers, man? And he just dropped it. He was like, yo, we were doing so good, man. So like, he's cool. He's like, I didn't come here to fight. He, yeah. Yeah. I didn't, come, I didn't come here for this shit. He's instantly cool. Did and then, got, Would you name the bar? And then oh, I don't, I don't even know the name of it. it was, I've, it was I've a, only been there once. Where was it at? In the Pearl. Oh, in the Pearl district. Yeah. Ooh, so fancy. So check this out. Ooh, la la. Check this shit out. Cloth napkins. He's like, yo, the blazers are doing so good. And over my shoulder, I hear this. Yeah, man, I don't know. This fucking N bomb. And I was like, oh no. And I looked down. I fucking looked back up this dude. And he goes, excuse me. What? And just fucking punched him straight in the face. See, punched you, my buddy see, straight see, in the fucking see, face. See, you motherfuckers, a lot of you motherfuckers out there think that black people do, are not courteous and have bad manners. But he kindly, he was having a conversation with you. Kindly pause the conversation because he <laughs> excused he, himself. He wanted to return to the conversation to continue to, to joyously talk about the good fortune of the Trailblazers over the number one team in the conference, the Houston, I mean, the uh, Utah Jazz. He wanted to talk about that victory, but the next time you were somewhere and you think black motherfuckers are rude, you think about this fucking story because he said, Excuse me. Here's where the plot thickens. So, of course, bou bouncers, management, they run up and they're like, Yo. Fucking you guys are out of here. Like, it's cool. And, <laughs> you think so? And what they said next, like, freaked me out a little bit. So I hear the bouncers look at this guy, the, the big 6'9 black guy, and they're like, yo, bro, bro, you got to go. The cops are going to come. Like, you got to get out of here. I knew that instantly. Like, this is their boy. Like, they're cool with him. He's a regular. We need to get the fuck out of here. Or just the fact that he's 6'9 black in downtown and just <laughs> struck a man. Fair. But just, just committed assault. 6'9 <laughs> black in downtown Portland, and he just assaulted anyone. Yeah. Any color, they'd any race, they'd probably, any they'd probably give him a fucking medal. Yeah, okay? yeah, I mean, if he kicked a dog, that motherfucker's going to jail. <laughs> I so, mean, our prosecutors won't put you. They won't. You're not going to jail, Joe. But yeah, yeah you're gonna. You're gonna they'll, they'll hold you for a few you, minutes. You might not make it to work tomorrow. So check this out. We get outside, but you're a piece of shit if you work on Sundays anyway. Yeah. So we get outside, and and if the fucking the pile of shit couldn't have stacked up any further. Oh, we're standing outside, and the plot thickens. Yeah, we're standing outside. Fucking management's like, yo, you know, like you guys got to get off my block. You need to get your boy and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and then out of left field, I didn't even know why that fucking end bomb just punched me in the face. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> Round two. What? Fucking punched him again. Knocked same him guy? out. Same guy. Same guy fucking knocked him out. How they let him, twice. How they, how they let that guy be that close? They obviously got problems. He, he's 6'9. <laughs> I guess, I guess, he I, hit him from across the street. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, reach. <laughs> I know, I couldn't believe it because both times it was like a movie scene. I was like, oh no. You mean, you mean he had that arm like when your mom slaps you in the back of the car when you're fucking up? Oh, dude, didn't even look. He was just like, excuse me for the second time. Bam! And I was yeah, like, yeah. oh, fuck. Yeah, like when your mom just reaches back to the back of the car and just whap, like, bitch, how your arm get that long? Yeah. And then, so then, 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 you, then you act like you can't reach shit on a fucking shelf, but you can reach all the way back to the other side of the fucking car to slap my ass. No, and so without missing a beat, my buddy Brandon goes, it's okay, I'm a doctor. <laughs> how drunk were you? Oh, dude, fucking shit. What time is that? It? It's... Yeah, eleven thirty midnight ish. It's about midnight. Yeah, yeah. more. About, yeah, it's about midnight, twelve fifty at this point. So, it, so men of your age, that's about what time you should be going home because <laughs> men of your age. Let me just tell you this because I've worked in nightclubs for a long time. Men of your <laughs> men age, men of a certain age, men of a certain age. I mean, you got enough money. 
that you could buy enough drinks to pop and take the premium pussy and be gone by eleven thirty. <laughs> Because there are there are nightclubs. <laughs> there have been nightclubs for a long time that close at midnight because they don't want bullshit like you oh, in yeah, there. Because yeah. they don't want that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, the party was going good. It was. Like, it was. I mean, you're drunk, it was really going good. You're drunk at fucking nine thirty. Turning down hoes. Then go to another place. Spark a revolution with some more hoes. And then fucking. And then go. Follow that car and fucking break out. I mean, did 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 the Uber peel out? <laughs> no, but I did hear some fucking A team music going on. I mean, <laughs> I mean and, and, and what happened? Did they put up chase and you had to jump over something like Duke Sazer? Yeah, right. hey, hey, I, give a, I, I give a fuck what you fucking think. The General Lee is a badass car, dude. Amen. But no, and so <laughs> the moment my buddy's like, don't worry, I'm a doctor. I start dying laughing. I was like, yo, we got to go. We got to get the fuck out of here. The cops are on their way. We're two white dudes in downtown Portland. You know, they're asking us how the fuck we got there. And if we went like, yeah, we drove, we're going to jail too. We got to go. But don't you, I know you, you know this from your younger days. When the cops are on their way, that's when you just start getting good. <laughs> that's when, it, I mean, that's that's when you really want to start I, fucking fighting. I almost went back in the bar. <laughs> like after they were like the cops on their way, I was like, "Fuck, I need a drink." <laughs> it ain't me. Yeah, right. Yeah, like I didn't do shit. I mean, really, I I I didn't hit anybody. I didn't call anybody the n word. <laughs> yeah, right. I think I'm, I'm qualified. Two, I'm two for two. I think I'm qualified to go back in the bar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, no, I mean he he got three strikes. I mean. <laughs> Call somebody the N-word twice and then got hit twice. I mean, even if you call one of those a ball, that's three strikes. That's three strikes right there. Oh, I was just gonna I was just gonna say he cock blocked and dropped two N bombs. That's three strikes right there. He got five strikes. Oh, whoa, he was a cock blocker too? Yeah. Oh, so he cock blocked and dropped two N bombs? Yeah. Oh. Hey, yeah. Hey, sir, if you listen to this podcast, <coughs> I know you listen to this podcast alone. I just want to let you know that you fucked up. You just fucked up, sir. I'm not even going to do that. This isn't diesel fresh. This is just a concerned citizen saying you fucked up. Because you know what? You fucked off multiple people's nights. Because you know, what if I'm the end bomb down there and you say that shit to me and then you know what? I was beating somebody at the fucking bar. Dude, here's the thing that cracked me up the most. Not only did I actually consider that. I was like, yo, what if, what if, because he's Hawaiian, right? Like he's funny. He's the brownest you could be without being black. I'm like, hey, I have black friends. Like, what hey, are you doing? Hey, hey, <laughs> well, you know, uh, I'll say it like this. A Hawaiian will drop the N-word and play that half-breed <laughs> card real quick. <laughs> I'm telling you, the, holi- I mean, the, the holidays, holidays make people nuts, dude. They, they, all, think they're, they all think the Rocks, they're, the, the rock, they have the same daddy as the Rocks. So they can all... <laughs> the Rock don't use the N-word. So you shouldn't either. So, right. uh, the rock don't use the N word, neither should you. Uh, Hakuna Matata. That's the name of this fucking episode. The rock doesn't use the N word, uh, neither should you. Hakuna Matata is not. That's not Hawaiian. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it means no words uh, for the rest yeah, of your days. Your day. <laughs> so, if you know some Hawaiian slang, what's the number? Five zero three seven seven six zero one six seven. I know Holly. Holly means white white boy. I know, uh, hang loose. Yeah. <laughs> I know Hawaii. Yeah, Hawaii. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like Groot. I just say Hawaii in yeah. a bunch of different tones. Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii, Hawaii. That means go get me some food, bitch. <laughs> so I, I, it's, I'm thinking about Hawaii because I'm looking for better weather. Okay. Because the holidays are starting. And what I want to do. By the holidays s- are here. I want to I wanna say this officially to you. Merry Christmas. Are you? Are we allowed to say that? It's my fucking show. Oh, it's our show. Sorry. <laughs> no, the reason I ask. It's like when you're talking to your wife. You're like, yeah, it's my fucking house. And you go, oh, it's our house. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, you know what? Tim Allen tool time is on. I'm going to go sit down right now. <laughs> I'm going to go learn how to break shit and electrocute myself. Now, I've, I've had a hell of a week already. So, do you, <laughs> I think I told you. We had an individual start at our office not too long ago and uh yeah new, new employees yeah, yeah. well yeah. i don't get yeah. too excited yeah yeah all right th- this company's not ready for this type of person oh. so yeah so don't make we, that noise when he touches you yeah <laughs> oh god because <laughs> you make that noise he won't stop <laughs> <laughs> so one of my one of my co-workers she's like in her 50s and you know she's like, hey, we need we need to do like a holiday happy hour, like blah blah blah. 
Wait, like 3.30 to 5.30 This date Like everybody RSVP Yeah cause my husband's Already drunk when I get home Most nights <laughs> yeah. So A holiday happy hour With you would be the best Yeah And so <laughs> I read her email And at the very bottom In all caps She has Merry Christmas With explanation points Well Mr. Pronoun Responds to this email And says Yeah I would prefer Happy holidays Oh Right. Just like out of nowhere. Like didn't even say, hey, thank you so much for the invite. Like I'm happy to be here. It was just like, I prefer happy holidays. And I was like, yo. <laughs> I, prefer, I prefer happy endings, but I can't put it in the email. <laughs> Shit. No, I'm, and I'm just like, dude, this is the same motherfucker that was like, hey, you know, my pronouns are this and that before you even say hello. Like, so he's supposed to be totally do you, boo. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? If you if 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 you if you praise Jesus or Satan, go ahead and throw it in your email because I'm throwing my pronouns in. <laughs> right. Well, and that's my thing. Live your best life, be happy, just mind your own fucking business. Is, isn't Christian a pronoun? Because there's no male or female form of that. I don't listen, I don't give a fuck what it is. I expect you to be as professional as me in the goddamn office. As leave, that, as you. <laughs> leave that shit. Um, I see you for eight hours. Keep it professional. I'll fucking go home. I'll keep it moving. I'll have a couple of edibles and call it a day. See you again Being tomorrow. Being professional is used like asking who wrote their name highest in the bathroom of the turd. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I mean, really, what's professionalism to you? <clears throat> is we do our jobs. You keep it professional and you keep it moving. Like you don't go to work and talk and talk about that. Well, you might. <laughs> you might. I don't go. To, I don't go to work. Yeah. No, you don't. You don't go to work. And I could be, be unemployed tomorrow. I don't know. I don't go to work. <laughs> no, I'm saying you don't go to work and be like, oh yeah, you know, my cousin's daughter drew all over my wall. Like you don't just tell people that shit unless you're like real tight with them. You keep it professional. Yeah. You know, you don't be like, hey, man, my do- my dookie smelled extra bad today. Like, you don't do that shit. You no, just- I mean, but you, you do give a 15-minute warning on the bathroom. If you, if, <laughs> I mean, hey, that's hey, a hey, professional. Hey, hey, if you want to be Mr. Pronoun, fuck all these unisex <laughs> bathrooms. Because, like, it fucking sucks that you got to go into this one-stall bathroom, and that motherfucker don't air out like we got multiple stalls. <laughs> right. Just saying, you guys fucking fucked that up for us. <laughs> shit. I mean, because, like, it, back in the day, we had multiple stalls. You could drop the bomb And you'd be like Not me Not me Not me <laughs> Not like, it Now we gotta do all this Fucking unisex shit Now If I go in there it, It's me And you know that's That sucks Because I don't want to be shamed Just because Well and you know what I don't want what? I don't I don't want to have to think about Good looking Kelly From down the hall Smelling like that That's what I don't want to think I mean, real, <laughs> real shit Real shit Real shit Beatrice in the county Yeah I thought I could give her the business yeah, Now uh, I can't Because I mean, you got something funky I mean I thought I, I, I mean you, you know You sit at your desk all day You're like damn I, I would give her some of that doo doo love And now you're like Not the doo doo smell like that not, not today Boy you stink like that That thing won't I don't care how many rubbers you wear That thing won't come off me for days but this is my point. Who gives a fuck? I mean, we well, got to go back to the bathroom in thirty minute rotations <laughs> to see if it's cleared up yet. After Beatrice from the county went, that's 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 what God you know. Damn it, Beatrice! God damn it! <laughs> no, you know what happens? And you used to look so cute. You, you know, you know what happens when what? you do that rotation after Beatrice get out of there? You're like, God damn it, it's time to go. <laughs> oh, so you already know. So we're about to get the fuck out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us this week. Don't forget, check us out patreon.com hey, forward slash the hype podcast because we're gonna dump on you. <laughs> we're gonna dump everything. We're gonna dump, we're gonna everything. dump it on you. Hey, hey, shout out to you, Crew Radio. We had a couple good years there. You know, we're in and out. We're gonna leave it on your chest. It's time to <laughs> and maybe leave a boop. Man, leave it on your wow. chest. <laughs> I mean, you said we're dumping on him. Uh, oh, we're dumping on him. <laughs> <laughs> Hit us up 503-776-0167. We'd like to hop back hype podcast on your chest. I will give you a lifetime membership to Patreon if you do that. You know, I was just reading about a lady that tattooed her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and she died, right? No. Nah. She's like, oh, it sucks. I'm going blind. I'm like, <laughs> let's just be honest. I, I, it's, and this is around Christmas time. You should have said you, you didn't know. You'll put your eye out. <laughs>
If you let a motherfucker that looks like he did not graduate high school poke you with some needle and ink in the fucking eye, then I think there is something fucking wrong there. You are not making life choices. And what was fucked up was the bitch's daughter was like, nah, mom, you'll go blind. She's like, fuck that little bitch. She went and she got it. Then she woke up. I mean, she looked like she got beat up by by a, a, a N bomb that was 6'9. <laughs> I can't believe this. Yeah, you. I'm not a big, big tattoo guy. But one thing you can do is make sure you don't let some motherfucker that's using jail grade fucking tattoo gear putting ink in your eye. I'm also fresh and we out. It's the hype podcast. Fuck it. We'll do it live. Boop.